in the second part of the tour of uh, the Miser Craft work I did on Survival 2. Um, again, I know the quality is going to be really bad, and hey, that's that's fine with me. I'm really just making it for myself. All right. Well, without further ado, let me start dumping over the audio that I messed up. So now we're just going to quickly go through the sunflower fields. I think I was spooked by a skeleton horse. Go by another pond full of fishies, of course, the rose fields and other fields. Let's get a quick aerial view of some of the fields while blowing myself, blowing myself up just a little with fireworks. So yeah, I kind of created this whole little agricultural estate, which then got surrounded by buildings, which is great. I actually really like that. Come here to the watchtower I made. I built this watchtower that's kind of was like the, the frontier of the land, or my land, rather. Let's go over here to and see this little lodge I built, which I think is pretty cute. Um, I built this lodge over here because it's kind of like by the by the seaside, but also mountainous, and it's just kind of a nice little overlook. And we'll see in a second. Uh, there's nothing really in the lodge of note, but we'll quickly see um, the little overlook area I built, with of course another fish pond. That's a common theme. Is that uh, I really like Minecraft fish and real fish. There's some really cute, like, Victorian-style houses over here, which are, I thought, maybe not quite Victorian, but regardless, they're really impressive, very big houses. They were pretty early on the server, too. Do a little MLG, MLG move there. Check out some of the bridges I made. I really do enjoy those. They're super basic, but I thought they were pretty and functional. They kind of fit in, so I liked them. This is the scale Saturn V rocket I made. Part of the Prefontaine Space Program. Really big, maybe excessively large, but, uh, you know, sometimes you gotta build a big rocket. I was hoping it'd be a space race. Didn't really materialize, and that's okay. It's a, it's a kind of a tourist attraction how to bring people to the fish district. Which is right here, of course. And of course, it's occupied by a, an unwelcome visitor. Now, when I built this, this, this felt enormous. I, uh... This, looking back, it's almost a little, it's not small, but it's certainly not huge. But I, when I built this, I was, this was incredibly ambitious for me. And I think it still holds up. It's a cute little, like, aquarium. It's the Fish Enthusiast Guild. Um, one of the many guilds on the server. I think it's really nice. I think, uh, I think it turned out well. I love all the aquariums in it, all the little turtles. We can see a little, uh, train station. We'll get to the train stations after this, but, uh, for now we'll just poke our head in. There's a the little nether station. Here's the first ship I built. The proportions aren't quite there, but I'm happy with it. It turned out okay. Especially for a smaller ship, I think it's pretty neat. Um, some of the little interior areas are a little meh. But hey, I mean, again, first effort, I think it turned out pretty good, all things considered. I really can't uh, can't be mad about this one. And we'll go up to the top and do a little, little fly away. We're heading right to the little fish shop I made. Weird little building. Um... Kind of figure out a style there, but you can see these little fish tanks, and uh, up the stairs there's, hey, guess what? More fish tanks, and clearly an Enderman has visit, visited. We'll come down here, and we can see the fish that aren't on display, and they're in, well, essentially tubs in the ground. It's plenty of space, and they're fed well, and trust me. Just sorted by species. Oh, there's a little puffer fish. I do enjoy puffer fish. They're very cute. All the fish are very cute. I love the Minecraft fish. They're good boys. They're all good boys. Where are we going to head next? I Oh, here's the horse entrance, because I made the, that portion of the uh, minecart subway accessible to horses for war, so you can get our horse over. So I think we're heading to Testificate University. I made this, um, it was going to be just my little village area, and it's going to be kind of like university-themed. Unfortunately, the end of the server means that won't really come to pass, but that's okay. The building got finished, um, and if we come in here, we'll maybe go poke our head in and bother the one villager I actually did get. Hey there, buddy. It's all yours. You get the whole building. Congrats. You get to live on in the save file forever. That's rough. Well, he'll be fine. And let's head over towards, uh, well, some stuff I didn't really build, but I think is quite impressive. Uh, it's the bridge Winnie built for the firework festival. Now, I actually, I did take some footage of that and hand it off to Waro, so... It's possible if you're viewing this, you've seen that or went to that if you're a miser. I hope you did. It was a lot of fun. Um, but here's the bridge. It extends quite a while back. 
It's very large. I think Winnie did a great job on it. It's really, yeah, it's really quite impressive, isn't it? Those balloons up there are mine. That was my contribution, just the pretty floating hot air balloons. I do like. There's the firework launchers. We're not going to go all the way back there. Um, but there was a whole firework event, which is very well done. There's more hot air balloons I did over there as well. Um, those are probably the best thing I've done on the server, which is funny because they're really quick and easy to do. But they really actually added a lot. They're very pretty. Do a little off-roading. Get back to the path past me. Yeah, I built paths all over this island. Why am I not using one? Get back. Get back. There we go. He's finding it. He's, he's doing it. Getting a little view of the skyline. I do love that. I love how everything came together. Just the, the density made everything so much better. It was greater than some of its parts. Go by this base. These are other people's bases. It's a really nice little house there. Oh, there's the Little Thieves Guild uh, secret, secret house, too, which I probably would have demolished. Um, and put something else on top of, but never really needed to, never, uh, it felt like it was in too good of a space to be wasting it, but, uh, the server didn't last long enough to, to need to do so, so, I guess it'll make it. Grats. Let's go check out Orc Slime's house, it's really cute. Um, they did a really good job on this. It's on a little island. That's nice, alright. Uh, you now I immediately lose the path and struggle to find it. The West Island is always a little underdeveloped. It's kind of fun how they're like different. Every part of the island had very different vibes. Little neighborhoods. We could follow this path and there's uh, Prefontaine Castle, which we'll get to, as well as a train station. There was a whole network of subway stations uh, all over the map. All over the island anyway. And they, you know... <laughs> Maybe the hub happened to be right outside of my house. Hey, if you're going to build the subway stations, you might as well make it convenient for yourself. You know, if you don't like that, if you want to, if you want the subways to kind of reflect your use, then maybe you should build your own subways. <laughs> no, I actually did. Like, I tried to make it convenient for everyone. All jokes aside, it was really cool seeing people use it, actually. I just see, like, name tags go, like, flying underneath me. I'm like, hey, they're using it. I helped. There's the Wizard's Tower over there. Waros and I built that. Um, I like the color palette I used. I kind of, uh, you can see right there, I use it again, basically. Uh, but it's a good color palette. But the design's kind of wonky. I tried to make it wonky because it was a Wizard's Tower, but I'm, eh, it's not my favorite building. Here's Castle Prefont Table Poker Heads in. There's the flag on the ceiling. And now we'll just uh, poke our heads right back out. Take a quick little sleepy. Unfortunately, it'll still be raining. It seemed like it always rained on this server, but I think that's, you know, of course it's uh, not true. That's how I feel every time it rains in Minecraft. I go, oh, God damn, it's raining again. All it does is rain here. We'll head back towards Ocean Market just a bit. It appears past me is getting his explosive rockets out. That can only lead to fun things, I'm sure. Almost certainly going to blow myself up with them later. Oh, I think I actually know exactly what we're going to do. So, heading back towards spawn, this is all the public farms and the little en entrance areas. I think I am going to take us on the little, uh, the little railroad tour. Which, of course, is going to lead off with, uh, with not just a, a subway, but a, a, a little ride I made, which is, don't get your hopes up too much. It's not exactly a roller coaster, and there's a lot of it, which is pretty, pretty boring, unfortunately. Um, but I, it was fun to make. Um, I certainly would have loved to add more, um, you know, decorations and dioramas and stuff to the side. But uh, it, was, it just there was a lot to do on the server. I never got around to it. But anyway, this heads into the submarine, and there's some <laughs> hopefully would some fiery jump scares. I don't know how effective that is. I, I had fun making it though. And you leave the submarine, dunks you out underwater back here. There's a little back and forth uh, drop before it sends you right back up into the treasure cave. Whoa, ho, ho. oh boy, treasure! Who doesn't want that? I, I, I had as much fun with this as I could. I, I, I did enjoy making these. In the future, maybe I'll do like a city with like a monorail around it. That'd be really neat just to get uh, views of the of all the buildings. Oh. Speaking of, yeah, there's that little. A little peek above the ground to get a look. And here's another one. This takes us into the ocean market. Before beating us into a hole. 
filled with spooky portals and fire. Oh no, hope I don't go in the lava. <laughs> it's not that well made. <laughs> but again, had fun with it. This part's pretty, pretty bad, I gotta say. <laughs> Just gray walls, pretty slow. Not my best work, but... Well, it's not like I'm being graded on it. This fish tank, dramatic fire, accidentally hit the other subway. Another fish tank. I did like, I mean, how many fish tanks are built on this server? Who knows? Must be at least 50. All right, that's the ride. But let's go to a, see a more practical subway system. So let's go to, I think, oh, we'll peek out, actually. Peek out and uh, see where it is relative to everything. So yeah, you can see this is quite centrally located, this station. And this station had uh, four or five exits from it, or four or five other stations you can get to directly and then maybe there were like seven or eight total so it was a very convenient location so let's just go to the ocean market station quickly now this station uh i tried to kind of theme make it ocean themed and uh i mean it'll be a common occurrence with me but the way i did that was uh lapis bricks and and a fish tank what who could have thought of that but i do appreciate how um like there's fish there, and they've been there like the whole the, for the whole duration of the server. I do like that the fish don't despawn. That's very nice. I will quickly head right back, and then we're going to go to the southern island, so I can uh, show you the the whole southern terminus of the subway because it actually extended to the whole southern continent. There's a there's a underwater expansion area, and that's all horse accessible again for Waros's horse. If why not? Oh. All right, I guess it's not that well lit. Yeah, we'll go to the the South Train Station. Now, all, all these little junctions, they all, they all tend to have very similar decor. Uh, they're made by me, so they, it's very similar kind of uh, black and white uh, floors, which was very common for me to do, because I thought it was pretty. So they all kind of have a similar vibe. I guess it might be hard to mix them up, or easy to mix them up, excuse me. And here's the horse accessible tunnel. And this will go all the way south off the island to the other the southern continent and we can see the bridge there and the bridge is really quite impressive uh the pillars underneath that are it's it, it's all it's all quite good and the hot air balloons as well that's fun unfortunately all the bridge is loaded in but i believe no spoilers that i will load it in later again i am dubbing over this i'm sure you can probably tell um it probably sounds quite bad still that's fine. <laughs> oh, a sea turtle. Sea turtles in this game are incredible. It's top tier content right there. Get the axe down in preparation to smack the cart. And let's head outside and uh, see the watchtower I put out to uh, basically show us, uh, show off like uh, like I don't know, like it's like an outpost on this untamed continent. You can see there's the road there which leads to Warros's base, which is. Um, quite far to the south, but it does reach all the way there. It's a watchtower design I copied many times. And then here's the server, uh, or the island. I think it's really nice, um, just looking at it like this. That bridge is really quite impressive. Now let's do a little uh, flyover. There we go. Now there's the bridge loaded in. That's great. I'm glad we got that. And it keeps exploding because these was the fireworks I grabbed. I probably should have just bought some fire from, excuse me, I probably should have just bought some rockets from uh, from the Flying Fox, huh? Oh well. The Flying Fox being that flying ship over there, which uh, Winnie and House Fox Meadow made. But yeah, let's just fly through the server right as the rain ended. So yeah, this is the state of the server as I'm leaving it. Well, not leaving, the server's leaving me, really. I think it's really nice to just kind of like fly around to the buildings, just do a whole little Superman, <laughs> Superman 64 around them. Um, I love how it all came together. I think it, I think it said it before, but it kind of ended up being more than the sum of its parts. Um, you know, both in terms of vibes and, and how, and just the structure, like the buildings. I, I really like um, just how it really started to feel like a city. Spawn Tower. Oh, I like, I, Spawn Tower was great. That was very good. One last little fly around. Oh, there's the ocean market. The ocean market's great. 